Welcome to the Weasley Update. Oh, man. Gotta do this pretty late and gotta keep it pretty short because it has been a heinously busy day. Um, I am Aiden Weiss. I'm fucking yeeched. Just smoked a J and I'm ready to ramble. We are looking at episode 12 and it is January 6th, 2021. Can you believe that? We made it through 2020. Woo! I loved seeing everyone's, uh, everyone's posts and memes and shit about how, oh yeah, finally, 2020 is over and we can get into 2021, like when we cross that, you know, I I don't want to be pessimistic, but like, when we cross that magical, invisible threshold of time, then all of a sudden, all the shittiness stops, I sure fucking hope so, you know, I'll, I'll tell you what, 2021, uh, has been off to a bit of a weird start. First, we got this Kim Kanye shit. I don't even know where this came from. I was seeing all this shit on Twitter about how, like, Chris Jenner leaked it, but I didn't give a fuck enough to look into it. But basically that uh, Kim and Kanye are getting divorced. All this shit about that she's been in, like, this house in L.A., and he's been on his ranch in Wyoming, yada, yada. Really don't care about either of them, so I didn't look into it. But then I woke up today or yesterday, and everyone was talking about how Kanye West and Jeffree Star are fucking... Okay, let me... I I don't want to misinform anyone. I think Jeffree Star is a drag queen. Let's look this up. Oh, has a cosmetic line. Jeffree Star... Oh... Jeffree Star was on Drag Race. Oh, maybe not. It just says, the first thing that will come up is from Screen Rant, it says, fuck, it says RuPaul's Drag Race. Miss Fame blasts Jeffree Star and calls out Quiet Queens. Yeah, I knew that Jeffree Star was, uh, con- has been like controversial. I'm just going to look up Jeffree Star controversy the first thing to come up is controversy palette twitter let's see no i don't like the results that's yielding let's just say jeffrey star controversy okay first thing that comes up according to jeffrey star's wikipedia in in an october 2020 report by insider star was accused of oh this is not at all what i thought it was going to be in an october 2020 report by insider Star was accused of multiple instances of sexual assault. Assault, man, that weirds, or that reads weird, uh, was accused of multiple instances of sexual assault, assault, and paying $10,000 in hush money to accusers. An attorney for Star denied all allegations. Wow, $10,000. How much did fucking... Who's that that, uh, one woman, the porn star that... That Trump was fucking that. Oh, Stormy Daniels. How much did Trump pay Stormy Daniels? I feel like it was a lot more than 10 grand. On, okay, this is according to Stormy Daniels Wikipedia. On January 12, 2018, Wall Street Journal, blah, 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 recorded uh, apparently in October 6th. Does it even say the number? Oh, it does. President Donald Trump had arranged payment of $130,000. Jesus fuck. I guess um, Trump and Jeffrey Starr are just not on the same level, I guess. Let's let's go back to this Jeffrey Starr controversy shit. Because I know he's controversial for, for some reason. I'm honestly... Uh, I was told that drag queens are referred to as she when they're dressed in drag, but I don't know what to refer to Jeffree Star as because uh, this individual appears to be always in drag. Let's, I'm actually going to look up Jeffree Star without blue hair. I'm just going to say without drag. That's not how you spell drag. Wow. It's I'm just looking at a side-by-side photo Man, Jeffree Star has a ton of tattoos. Now I gotta look that up. Man, is this whole podcast gonna be about fucking Jeffree Star? Tattoos. Holy fuck, dude. That is so... Man, this picture, I wish you guys could see this. It's so weird because 
from the head up, Jeffree Star looks like a female. But from the neck down, like, man, it... So many neck tattoos that it looks like his head was actually just superimposed on another person's body. Man, lots of just faces. Rape me? A tattoo that says rape me across the chest? Oh my fuck, I cannot be... I, okay, well now I gotta look this up. Who knew Jeffree Star was such an interesting individual? Rape me tattoo? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? We forgot Je Oh man, I'm so confused. From accusations of racism, man, Jeffree Star is just in the fucking center of it. To his very public feud with different cosmetic lines, tattoo enthusiasts... Ba 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 and Jeffrey's tattoo tour. Okay. For the video start Oh. Okay, apparently in some video where Jeffrey Star was giving a tattoo tour, he covered up the rape me part of the banner. Cause it's like someone's face. Is that supposed to be Jesus? It looks like it's supposed to be a religious figure, like long hair, beard, and a crown of thorns with a a banner underneath that says rape me. I don't I just want an explanation of what that tattoo means. Oh, Rape Me is the name of a 1993 single by Nirvana. Oh, it's fucking Kurt Cobain with... Oh my god, I can't believe I didn't fucking put that together. Are you shitting me right now? It's Kurt Cobain. How could I not look at that? I was like, is it Jesus? Oh my god. Well, that's pretty weird. Obviously less weird than I thought it was going to be, but, uh, still really weird. I don't think in any context I would get the fucking phrase rape me tattooed on me. My God. But yeah, the rumors are that Kanye and Jeffrey Star are banging. Man, why are all of his tattoos faces? Fucking Edward Scissorhands. What in the fuck, dude? I'm not a huge fan. I, I, Oh my god, the Michelle Pfeiffer Catwoman one is kind of cool. I'm not a huge fan of just um, photorealistic people as tattoos. And all of his fucking tattoos. Aubrey Hepburn on his chest. Kurt Cobain and Elvis Presley. Delicious? I don't know who Delicious is. But it's clearly a person. Grand Grandmother. Man... Mona Lisa, Jaws, it looks like there's Patrick Bateman, who's this, oh, that's Elvis, for a second I thought that looked like fucking, man, the red rum tattoo's kind of cool, the Jaws tattoo's kind of cool too, but, man, what a weird fucking set of tattoos, god damn it, I mean, like, I don't know, I don't really judge people for tattoos, because I'm super into them, and it's such a a personal thing, but, yeah, very striking, man, you know whose tattoos I just, ooh, you know whose tattoos I just don't like, though, fucking Machine Gun Kelly's, I gotta pull up a picture of this, it's not even that all of his tattoos are necessarily, when you look up Machine Gun Kelly tattoos is what feels like, excuse me, um, man, that's just crazy, it's not even that he has, like, individually bad tattoos it's that he has so many tattoos stacked on one another that it's just super cluttered and it like ruins the creative element of any of them i especially don't like the like flamey mgk on his back and you know what if he loves all these tattoos which i assume he does then all the power to him but i'm looking at this and I do not know, dude. I'm just not with it. I just personally prefer really, uh, really organized tattoos. Like, I've been mapping out my fucking sleeve since I was, uh, I was 12. And it's all broken into, like, distinct, segmented shapes. And again, I don't want to sound like I'm the, the authority on tattoos, but that's just the way I go. Man, I forgot him and Megan Fox were together. Didn't he write a song about her feet? MGK, uh, Megan Fox feet song. 
<laughs> what the fuck? Machine Gun Kelly gushes over Megan Fox. Beautiful feet. Okay, that's weird. I actually saw an episode of Ridiculousness where someone asked him about uh, his foot fetish. And he was like, oh, did I announce that? And they were like, yeah, it's all over the place. Machine Gun Kelly loves Megan Fox's feet? Billboard asks. Um, man, for whatever reason, you know, and it's because a buddy of mine told me, you fucker. For whatever reason, I totally thought that he had, like, written a song about her feet. I must be tripping balls. Anyways, fucking good for, uh, good for MGK, I guess. He really owns that shit. That's another one of those things, like, fetishes, like, you know, again, super personal, really can't judge. And, you know, with obvious exceptions, like, my grandma and I were talking today about pedophiles and, like, what do you even do with pedophiles? You know, because, like, I don't think prison works, um... And I'm not going to rehash out that uh, conversation that I had with my grandma today all over this podcast. But the consensus that we basically had was like, there has got to be some alternative. Because that is just like the worst fucking thing ever. And like people will go to jail, jail and come out and still be fucked up with that. Like I feel like, and I don't know this, I don't have any statistics to back me up, but I feel like for... There's a lot of things where people go to jail and it actually does reform them and they come out maybe a better developed person or whatever. But um, I feel like, yeah, pedophiles are just like, you're not going to drill them, drill that out of them by sending them to a prison. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't put pedophiles in prison, but fuck, there needs to be some other, like, I don't know if that's something that, that psychiatry can help or what, but... Oh my god, dude, we've got to get a grip on that. This is the, the, I got an Amber Alert tonight that's the fourth in a week. What is going on? I just went to my parents' room and I was like, am I crazy or has there been an absurd amount of Amber Alerts the last couple of weeks? Because like I said something, we got one at work tonight and I looked at one of my coworkers and said something about it and he didn't, you know, everyone was acting like it wasn't weird. But I was like, I feel like, man, I say like so much. Anyways, I feel like I haven't gotten an Amber Alert for months at a time. And then in the last week, I've gotten four of them. Every time, it's so, so weird. Like, there was one earlier last week in my town. And usually, you know, they're relatively local. But, I mean, like, is it still in my notifications, the one from earlier today? Yeah. Spokane, so that's easily... I actually don't know how far that is for me. Let's just look it up so I'm not spewing bullshit. I guess this whole podcast is spewing bullshit. I'm going to say it's over an hour for sure. Oh my god, Spokane is four hours from me. Yeah, and I, so it was really strange to get one in my town, and it was all this shit about like a mom who didn't have... You know, I don't even feel like I should talk about this, because I feel like... Why do I say like so much? God, just get on with what you're saying. I always interrupt my fucking sentences. Can't finish a train of thought. I just think that I could probably get in trouble if that's like an ongoing case or something. So I'm just going to deflect all the details. But it's all to say that I'm pretty freaked out with how many Amber Alerts there's been going out lately. Man, 2021, first week and we have four Amber Alerts. What in the fuck? You know... You know what, though? I was uh, pretty happy to see, as the start of 2021, that the Proud Boys were getting treated um, just as shitty as everyone else by the police. And here's the thing. You know, it's it's a weird thing because that makes it... Like, I don't want anyone to be treated like that by the police. But I think... It's just hilarious that uh, during, like, all the BLM protests, Proud Boys and everything was, you know, there was all this discourse about that uh, there were rioters and looters and they were causing all this mayhem, just shit trying to justify the police violence. And then here comes the fucking Proud Boys first in Portland. I I think they were um, protesting, like, the lockdown or something. Sorry, I just smoked a day. I gotta sip my water. And there's all these hilarious videos of them getting their shit rocked. And it's actually funny seeing a progression of some videos. Because these are the people who show up with 
thin blue line flags or whatever the fuck they're called. And, um, and you can see like one dude's holding his flag back the blue, back the blue. And then later there's a video after everything hit the fan where people are stomping on this flag and they're like, fuck the blue, fuck the blue. That started being chanted. There was one instance that I saw from like three different angles where this one dude, oh my God, he was losing his shit. That little pussy right there, I was backing up and he's still fucking blah, blah, blah. I was like, yeah, and you were probably one of the dudes who was trying to justify when all of this shit was happening to BLM. So sit your ass down, shut the fuck up. And then same thing happens in Washington, D.C. They start getting their shit rocked. And I I just thought it was so funny because of all the crazy political movements that have been taken on, I th- I'd think that the Proud Boys were the ones to uh, who backed the police. I, mean, I don't want to get super political, but I just think that is, you know, I can't not talk about that. That's what's fucking going on in the world right now. And I was pretty entertained watching these videos, not going to lie. I was also very surprised to learn that the Proud Boys leader is named Enrique. I'm going to let that sit for a moment. The leader of the Proud Boys is named Enrique. How strange is that? But it's, uh, I don't know, my mom pointed out, it's almost like that That sort of, in some ways, I bet, galvanizes their cause. Because it's like, oh, I'm not racist, I've got a black friend. It's like, we're not a racist organization, we're led by a minority. And he was just arrested for, it seemed weird, because I read that it was for, like, burning a BLM flag, but the FBI was looking for him, and that didn't seem like... Uh, something that would warrant an FBI investigation, but he basically came out, admitted that he, it was him. He said he was doing it against his attorney's advisal, was saying he did it out of love, not hate, because BLM is Marxist, communist. Blah, 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 blah. Shut the fuck up, dude. Get your ass out of here. When he was um arrested, too, I believe he was charged for having uh like a legal high capacity magazines maybe let's see um proud boys leader arrested in burning of church's black lives matter banner okay banner that definitely sounds bigger so his name is enrique terrio he was arrested by dc police monday afternoon on a warrant charging him with burning a blm banner blah blah blah, blah. taken from a historic black church you piece of shit Fuck you, Enrique Terrio. Um, please stop the vehicle. Terrio, blah, 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 blah. Let's see. I want to see the shit about because I do think that he was charged with something else. Police said Terrio, who was in custody Monday evening, also was charged with two. F- wow, two felony counts of possession of high capacity ammunition feeding devices. That's what they call magazine feeding dev- ammunition feeding devices. That seems pretty uh convoluted for no reason which is a legal term for a magazine that allows guns to hold additional bullets interesting members of the proud boys a male chauvinist organization with ties to white nationalism blah 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 yeah fuck that guy and then in dc you know same shit happened and then of course today there's that shit with the Capitol. i couldn't even believe what was fucking going on dude are you serious i'm still blown away stormed the Capitol, broke into the building, breaking windows. Some woman got shot and died. That is insanely fucked up, dude. And she was a vet, too. Like, oh. Yeah, my mom was actually just reading me this post where someone... It was, like, in response to what her husband was saying. And basically, this person prefaced their statements by saying that, like, they don't want to you know, like, I'd be shitting all over the dead, I guess, and, but this, her husband said, uh, something about what a patriot she was, and then this, this person's response was basically imagine surviving four tours in Afghanistan to, to die this way, and, like, she wasn't a patriot, she died literally attacking democracy, trying to break into it, I just, yeah, when they were outside, I was like, this is absurd, this is absurd. And then when they broke in, I, I was 
man, it sucked so bad because I was in class when all this craziness was going down and I was just so ready to get out of class, smoke a fat fucking bowl and, uh, and get to work on some music. But I was just so not in the mood. All the shit I was seeing, all the shit I was seeing about people trying to defend it. It was, oh, despicable, despicable. Yeah, fucking crazy. What's going on in the world? I I don't think I've ever gone on Twitter and seen all, what is it, 21 most trending things be basically from one source. One of which, for a while, was Elizabeth. This woman named Elizabeth. If you haven't seen this video, I'm sure you can just look up um, uh, Capital... What, what do you even call it? Capital fucking riot. Elizabeth, this chick is so fucking funny. And I saw the video earlier in the day and then saw Elizabeth was trending later and was like, what could this be? And I opened it and saw it was her and was just so happy that it blew up because I laughed my ass off and immediately went and talked to my parents about it. But she's walking around with her, her hubby. She's got her uh, like a Trump flag she's wearing around her and her fi- she's just distraught, you know, f- physically distraught. Um, and some dude basically comes up and he's like, what happened? And she's like, I got pepper spray. And he's freaking out. And he's, this dude is just like playing devil's advocate. And he's like, well, why'd you get pepper sprayed? And she says, we stormed the Capitol, blah, blah, blah. Just like, couldn't put it together before the words left her mouth. And, um, And he asked something to the effect of, well, why'd you storm the Capitol? And she didn't even have an answer. It was so funny. She got so flustered and was like, well, we're storming the Capitol. It's a revolution. It's like, oh my God, you fucking dumb shit. You deserve to get maced, Elizabeth. Wherever the fuck you are, if this comes up in five years this podcast blows up and you hear this you dumb fucking bitch you deserve to get maced get out of here trying to storm the fucking capitol building leave dumbass god i was just absolutely like see at first i was sad but now that i'm reflecting on the day i'm just fucking pissed off who the fuck do you think you are <sighs> Yeah, I, like everyone was getting so angry and I just couldn't help but be depressed when I was reading all this shit. And again, seeing people try to defend it, I was just like, this is so sad that this is where we're at. And that like this, here's a picture of what it of what the Capitol looked like with the National Guard looking like fucking Navy SEAL Team 6 when the BLM protests were going on. And then <sighs> fucking cops taking selfies with these, these dudes. Are you shitting me? One dude in there was wearing a Camp Auschwitz shirt. And people are trying, like Tucker Carlson, trying to defend these people as patriots. And the only other defense that they have is that, oh, it was Antifa disguised as Trump. He's fuck off. That is the dumbest shit I have ever, ever heard. Just need to shift the blame. Of course, God, what a dumb-ass fucking day. Fuck all those people. I mean, it's so sad that someone got shot. No one needed to die today for that stupid fucking event. What did that even do? Delay shit by a day? A number of hours? Like, that's almost the saddest part. And I'm not, you know, because on some level, I empathize for this woman and her family. Like, obviously, she, uh... I'm not going to call her a dumbass, but she was, you know, fucking doing dumb shit. God, that's insensitive. That was so insensitive. I'm, I'm burning in hell, but I, I will in no way defend her actions. Cause I think they were, but fucking stupid. Um, but it's just like, when I think of it from her shoes, she went in there to commit what she believed was a full blown, full blown revolution for the betterment of this country And she got shot in the building and that revolution didn't happen. And like, and at the end of the day, it was honestly a pretty pathetic attempt. Like they're back in the fucking building getting right back to work. So 
what a waste. You know, that's, fuck. Fought for her country and, I mean, I'm sure that her and her family members believe she died for it, but I believe the the opposite. You know, I again, I think she was uh, attacking democracy. Fuck, that's just still so sad. Like, why did someone... She could have been the worst person on the planet, and I still would just be thinking to myself, like, why did someone have to die today over this shit? You know, like, this, it really, to me, just seemed like a big fucking childish pissy fit. And someone died? Man, what a a crazy, crazy circumstance. Like, can't believe that happened. I can't believe it was allowed to happen. There were riots going on in Washington. Get out of here, you fucking dumbasses. God damn it. I can't even stand that shit. Now I'm just getting mad. Now I'm repeating the same thing. I'm so ready to get off this podcast and smoke a bowl and bust some ass on some shit. But now I'm just angry thinking about that dumb shit. God, this is why I don't talk about politics on here. Because it makes me so mad. But I can't avoid this. What in the goddamn hell? I'm just... Woo, 2021, everybody. Let's move on to a lighter subject before I end the shit. Like how my little brothers came in super fucking clutch and got me a PS5 for Christmas. Can you believe that? That's how privileged the Weeses are. We have two PS5s in our household. As a buddy at work of mine joked, the PS10. We have a PS10 looming around here. I don't know how my parents were able to secure it, but... um. They were, and then actually, like, a couple days before Christmas, my mom got some notice that, like, the it didn't go through because they said it was, like, Walmart or something, or I, I can't even remember, but basically, someone believed it was a fraudulent purchase, and so it didn't go through, and so my mom called in and laid into him, was like, our whole family's ha- happiness is banking on this gift, and you fucked us, um... But it all worked out. And you know what that meant? Fucking Spider-Man Miles Morales. Now, if you know anything about the Weasley update, you know that I fucking played Spider-Man PS4 so hard. I mean, like, I, I don't play a lot of video games, but when I do get into a game, I play it really hard. I mean, with that game, I would just disappear for like four hours. And I knew the same thing would happen with this one because you've got all New York City. There's all these side missions. There's obviously the main story. You've got just random bullshit, uh, non-important just crimes that pop up as you're swinging around through the city just to have some fun. Um, and holy titties, dude. It would, yeah, it, it was an almost an exact repeat. Would go in, set a timer for twenty minutes. You're like, all right. I'm going to do this. I'll bust out this side mission. Oh, but while I'm here in Harlem, like, fuck, this little training thing is super close. I'll just bust that out. Oh, but, you know, there's a crate right there. I'll just swing over there, and it just never ends. I beat that game today, and I've had it for that. That console showed up on Thursday. And I couldn't play anything until Friday, I believe. There was some weird thing where when I first... So I transferred my data right from my PS4 to my PS5, which is what it recommended. And there was some weird thing where it said that all my storage was full. I downloaded God of War, went to put in the disc for the original Spider-Man, and it said I needed to free up space. Super weird thing. Called PlayStation Network about it. It was super weird. I ordered a 4 terabyte external hard drive. And then, yeah, when I got home that night after work, I just turned it on for the fuck of it. And, uh... It's like, I'll just check the storage shit just for shits and giggles. And sure enough, it had fixed itself. So I bought Spider-Man that moment and played for... Actually, that first little session didn't play that hard. Because uh, I... Yeah, that was New Year's. So I actually spent a bunch of time working on music. And just bullshitting. But, uh... Man, can you believe it's already tax season? I got my W-2 today. And I... I was like, what the fuck? This isn't right. Why am I getting this? And then... It's like, oh my god, we're getting money soon. I'm just curious to see how that is going to shape out with COVID and like the COVID relief stuff, if that's going to play into it at all. I have no idea, but I'm really, really interested to see where that goes. But um, I actually think, man, I had more shit I wanted to talk about, but 
that's how I gotta end it tonight. I already went past the time that I wanted to do. I am, um, man, it's gonna be super busy for the foreseeable future. But in March, middle of March about, I will be done with school and this is gonna be my life. So I will talk to you hoes in a couple weeks for the season finale of season two. Bitches! See you then.